The Yu-Gi-Oh! trading card game is something that I have a major passion for. Over the last two years, I've realized just how much I love Yu-Gi-Oh! I've been watching the streamers, I've built fun decks, and I spend my time off messing around with my friends. But as the world returns to normal, so does Yu-Gi-Oh! YCS Pasadena the return of large, in-person Yu-Gi-Oh! events. Remote dueling was never my thing, so I'm going. With a round-trip flight and a hotel booked, this is my road to YCS Pasadena. Happy after Thanksgiving, everybody. Happy after Black Friday. Hopefully you got your fill of food and throwing hands with strangers because now we all have to go back to fucking work. I didn't actually think I was going to upload this week because this is the second year in a row where I haven't got to see my family on Thanksgiving for certain reasons. And uh, that left me kind of depressed, so I, you know, made food for myself and did nothing. But then one of the greatest things that could ever happen happened to a man. Part 6, Jojo, let's fucking go. If you can't tell, I'm a huge fucking nerd and I love Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. Like, I have the Stardust Crusaders next to my wrestling shelf and my RuneScape map. I have some of the Medicos imports and... Someone even gave me this really nice uh, cloth poster, but I don't know how to hang it up because I am a simple idiot. Now, I know the basics of Part 6 for Jojo, but uh, I'm a Yu-Gi-Oh player, so I have no reading comprehension. So I actually haven't read it yet, so I'm very, very excited to see it animated because I get to continue the story of Jojo. Okay, so onto the actual Yu-Gi-Oh part of the video. I've been to two locals in the past two weeks. I actually got my deck completed, got the bird calls in, got everything that I actually needed to play, and I haven't recorded a single match. Why is that? Well, my locals is frequented by Robbie Cole and gang, and it feels very awkward trying to record something in front of someone that literally has a thousand times the subscribers that you have. It's insanely, like, awkward. So both Robbie and his friend were playing Sword Soul, and over the last two weeks, those are the only two people that have actually beaten me. So the good news is that I've only lost three matches out of 10 rounds, which is insanely good because I've beaten some decks like Despia, Flunder, other Tri-Brigade players, Drytron, so it's been very, it, it has good results. My deck's fine. It's just struggling to beat that Sword Soul match. The bad news is, is those losses made it so I didn't get tops either week. And those really cool Kaiba Yugi trophies were out. So I'm really disappointed I missed one. I have a first place Kaiba one sitting over there, but it's always nice to add more. The other, the other part of the bad news is that everybody that got to open packs pulled extremely well. Like, depressingly well. Also, I can't really tell if it's because I don't know how to play against Sword Soul or my opponents just open up better than me. One of my opponents opened up Ghost Mourner, Imperm, Ash Blossom, Ecclesia, Long Yoon. What the fuck am I supposed to do against that? I, like, apparently you don't need to play Drill and Lockbird, just individually hand trap every Lyralisk effect that I activate and you win the game. <laughs> should, I, should I continue with this? Yeah, I'm continuing with this background. In my opinion, this deck is extremely fair. It might be t tier one, but it doesn't do anything extremely unfair like we've seen in past formats. Uh, it's in board is very beatable. It just can do it almost every game that you play in. And it is extremely competent at breaking boards with cards like Zeus. Like Nightingale is such a house in itself that I've OTK'd with, I've OTK'd people with Nightingale by itself. I literally attacked seven times directly because of the card Bird Sanctuary. I cut it from my list, but uh, my whole end board is outed by a single Dark Ruler no more because I'm missing a certain card that I have on the way because I've realized my mistake of not playing it. I mean, I do get some brick hands, but they look more like this instead of like this. <laughs> So this is my list. I went ahead and put it in EDO Pro to organize it and make it a little easier to stare at, but you might notice it's missing two key components. Token Collector for the Sword Soul matchup and Harpy's Feather Storm because it is, might be one of the most crazy cards that is still legal. Anything that just reads as a thought your opponent uh, might just should not be legal at all. But those two cards are very key components in beating Sword Soul. Once again, the only deck that I've still fucking lost to. I showed a little bit of it today, but I have a, uh, I'm a huge figure collector uh, because I'm a huge fucking nerd. 
but I can thoroughly go over every wrestling figure that I have, every anime figure that I have, and every Dragon Ball figure that I have, but we'd have to do this, do that in another video. I'm not gonna dedicate any amount of fucking time to that. But that's really it, another short one. Uh, it's really just did not cause me much stress on my already slipping sanity. Like my room's actually not that big. <laughs> So every time I want to bust out that green screen, I have to reorganize everything and then it ends up looking like shit anyway. So, you know, I was reading the script of this video and it seems I forgot to put in uh, jokes again. So here's one for free. Me. See you next time. You never see it coming.